Today we're taking a look at using perspective control with our Tilt Rocker Tilt Shift lens adapters. Hey everyone, Sean here with PhotoDeox.com. Our Tilt Rocker Tilt Shift lens adapters let you turn any adapted lens into a Tilt Shift lens. Just mount the lens on the front of the adapter, mount the adapter to your camera, and enjoy full Tilt Shift functionality. Now just one note before we continue, our Tilt Rocker adapters only work with adapted lenses. So you can't put this adapter between a native lens and native camera, like let's say a Sony E-mount lens and a Sony E-mount camera. And the reason you can't do this is simple. Uh, it's called focal flange distance. And this is what manufacturers use when they manufacture a camera to make sure that when you mount a lens on a camera, it fits snugly on the camera and focuses to infinity. And the minute you put any space between a native lens and native camera, you lose that ability to focus to infinity. But with adapted lenses, we don't have to deal with this issue uh, because what we're doing is we're adapting lenses that have a longer focal flange distance. You know, lenses that were designed for cameras that had a deeper space between where the lens mounted and where the digital sensor or the film plane was. And that gives us the space to put an adapter like our Tilt Rocker adapter and then you're able to mount it on your camera and you still maintain infinity focus. It works just like a native lens, just with that extra space. I know focal flange distance can be a little confusing, so if you have any questions, comment below. I'd love to help you out. Now this is our Nikon to Sony E-mount tilt rocker, which means you can mount any Nikon F lens on the front, mount it to any Sony E-mount camera, and get full tilt shift functionality. So let me show you how it works. First, we're gonna take this Nikkor lens. This is a vintage Nikon F-mount lens. We're just gonna line up the mounting dots, mount it to the adapter, and then we're gonna mount it on my Sony A7S II. Line up the red dot on the adapter with the white dot on the camera. There we go, now we have this Nikkor 20 millimeter lens adapted to my Sony E-mount camera, and we have full tilt shift functionality. Uh, we can push this button down to shift left or right, and then we can loosen this knob here, which gives us the ability to tilt. And then if we want to place the tilt or the shift in a different position on the center of the camera, we just push this gold button here, and that allows us to rotate the whole adapter 360 degrees. So we can place the tilt to the left or to the right, and we can also shift up or down. In past Tilt Rocker videos, we've looked at using selective focus control and creating stitched panoramas. But today we're gonna to look at using the shift function on the Tilt Rocker for perspective control. One of the visual effects of photographing something tall like a building is when you're angling the camera up at the building, you're actually creating perspective distortion. You're seeing the lines of the building converging towards each other. Now, when we see a photo like this, we know that the lines aren't actually converging together. We know it's just the perspective of the camera. But sometimes we want to minimize this in photography, especially if we're using a wide angle lens like this Nikkor 20 millimeter or this Rokinon 14 millimeter. These lenses create even more perspective of distortion, and sometimes we want to minimize it in our photos so it's not as noticeable. And we can do this with the shift function of our Tilt Rocker adapter. Using the shift function to correct perspective distortion is easy. Instead of angling the camera up to capture the whole building, we're actually going to tilt it down so the center of the camera is parallel with the building. Then we're going to use the Tilt Rocker to shift the lens up bringing the rest of the building into the shot without tilting the camera. This removes the perspective distortion and gives us nice straight lines in our building. And there you go, it's as simple as that. Now, one note, because I was shooting in landscape, I did have to rotate uh, the adapter so I could shift up. Another note is that I'm adapting a lens for a full frame camera to a full frame camera. So I actually used APS-C crop in the Sony a7S II, so I cropped out the vignetting. This specific adapter works better on a Sony E-mount camera that is an APS-C crop, because otherwise you will get a little bit of vignetting, because like I said, the image circle of this lens is designed for a full frame camera. It's not really designed to shift and tilt around that much. If you wanna shoot with our Tilt Rocker adapters on a full frame camera and not use APS-C crop, we have a full line of adapters that utilize medium format lenses. These lenses have a much larger image circle, so you're able to shift all the way left to right, up and down, tilt up and down, without coming to the edge of the lens's image circle and getting any vignetting, uh, because medium format lenses are designed to cover a much larger sensor or a much larger piece of film. Now our brains are used to a little bit of perspective distortion in our photos, so when you use shift to create perspective control, 
don't go too far. You wanna use it subtly. If you do go too far with it, you'll actually create the opposite effect and you'll create these very surreal images where the leading lines are actually diverging away from each other. So it's definitely a tool to use subtly. Okay, that was a quick look at using perspective control with our Tilt Rocker Tilt Shift adapters. If you have any questions, comment below. I'd love to help you out. And click the link in the description below to get your Tilt Rocker adapter today. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com, and thanks for watching.